What's up guys, Sal here. So this is a follow-up video to the last one I made a couple of days ago. You see, Evan Blast, a very reputable tipster said that Samsung is considering a name change of their flagship smartphone, which includes their Galaxy S range and Note range as well. Samsung is debating to change the name of the upcoming 11th generation of Galaxy S phone to Galaxy One instead of the Galaxy S11. Now, Evan Blast tweeted out again, giving more details about this, which you may like it or may not. He says Samsung isn't just considering a rebranding of the phone, but also the Debating to merge them into a single launch since both of them overlap so closely in features. So basically, they're planning to launch a Galaxy S phone with an S Pen in the first half of the year and get rid of the Note launch in the second half. He further added that Samsung will do this provided the Galaxy Fold performs according to their expectations both in sales as well as in features. Evan Blast mentions that this information comes directly from a solid source and says that these discussions are still ongoing. And if Samsung moves ahead with the plan, it could all happen as soon as next year. That being said, on one hand, this is a good idea because S and Note phones overlap so closely in features and basically the only distinguishing factor is the S Pen. Also, this is good because you'll no longer have buyer's remorse after getting their flagships, whether it's S or Note phones. What happens is you buy their latest S series of phone say the Galaxy S10 and you feel amazing that you have such a great handset but just a few months later Samsung launches another flagship phone the Galaxy Note 10 and you started feeling bad that you just spent over thousand dollars on a Samsung flagship and your device is no longer the best device the company has to offer. The same happens for the Note 10 and S11 as well so unifying the S and Note phones will make sure this won't happen. Bad because this would hurt the sales of their flagships. Unifying the S and Note phones won't magically increase the sales numbers. It will remain the same or probably would see a slight increase. So sales surely will get affected. And also for Samsung fans, this would mean that there will be only one major product launch per year and there will be nothing to get excited about in the second half provided you don't care about the foldable technology. By the way, I have talked about this a year ago about how they could start including the S Pen on the Galaxy Fold and how this eventually would fade the Note brand. Kind of feeling bad that this could actually happen, but the good thing is it's not confirmed just yet. All depends on whether or not the Galaxy Fold would be a commercial hit. So let's see how this plays out. Also, Evan Blast said that the live video focus feature that was introduced with the Galaxy Note will make its way to the Galaxy S10 as well. With this feature, you can blur out the background or change the background to black and white while the subject is in blur, add glitch effects and more. Evan says Samsung will keep this feature as an exclusive one for the Galaxy Note 10 and after a few months, will give it to the Galaxy S10 owners with a software update. Of course, with that being said, for more videos like this, please consider subscribing and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.